Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Aurora, Colorado, with a very new frauditor that goes by the channel name Arapaho Audits, as he uh, apparently was trespassed from the local DMV and uh, is whining and complaining to the officers about he should never have been trespassed to begin with, because, you know, he seems to think that, like all frauditors do, you can't be trespassed from uh, public property. So, yeah, that kind of idiot right there. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello, sir. How are you? Good. How you doing, sir? Good, thank you. Are you here to talk to me? I am. Lieutenant Saran with the Royal Police Department. I'm going to watch Commander for the District 2. I appreciate you. Yeah. What can I do? Your name badge number, sir? Samson, you got my card. Oh, you're the scumbag that, that uh, trespassed me, huh? No, I'm decided to talk to you. You trespassed me, though. No, I advise that if you didn't leave, then you give me Yeah, you said I could be arrested. Yeah. What can I so basically, he threatened me with arrest. Mm -hmm. Let me step back a little bit. You guys do a little close. He threatened me with arrest from public property. I was there to pay for a, for a license plates. They didn't like my shirt. They didn't like because I said, this is bullshit. So they shut me down. The security guard kicked me out. I was outside when he, where, was I outside when he showed up? I was outside, right? On what? Public property, not private, public. I need to be able to go back so I can pay for my license plates. He trespassed me. I didn't trespass you. Sir, you threatened me with arrest. I didn't threaten you. You said if I don't leave, what did you say? Say it in front of you. Just, 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 say it in front of him. I advised you that because the security told you that you needed to leave. He has no authority. That if you, he does. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. Let me guess. You're one of these idiotic frauditors who believe that a security guard's only job is to observe and report that they have no power beyond that. Well, you do realize that if an altercation happens, they just can't observe and report. They've got to get in there and stop it from happening. They've got to get in there and stop the whole event. I mean, come on now, dude. Use some common damn sense or go look up uh, these uh, job websites that actually give you the uh, job description of a security guard. Just don't listen to the idiotic frauditors. They have no idea what they're talking about. Go ahead, so say. I advise you, and whether you believe it or not, that's that's not my issue. But I advise you that since you were advised, you were told by the security that you need to leave, that if you refuse to, you can be arrested for trespassing. Okay, there you go. You heard it. Okay. I want to be able to go back. I need to pay for my plates. Well, you're not trespassed from there. You can return. Can I go back? They chose you. They chose not to help you. What happened? What we? What? What? You what, you already listened to this scumbag. Before. Yeah, go ahead and continue to call his colleague a scumbag. Yeah, I'm sure that's going to benefit your cause in the end, that this officer will reverse the trespass. Well, dude, uh, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it sure as hell's not going to do it. Okay, you you so listen to whole, listen his to his part of the story, well, but you're not I'm willing to listen to my part of the story. I am trying to listen to your part. So why started, what started the issue? that the Because was I had this shirt, and I said, this is bullshit which I have a First Amendment right to say whatever the f*** want to say in public. Yeah, the guy just let off several F-bombs right there. And if that's the reason why uh, he, they decided not to service him uh, at the DMV, well, it's within their rights to do so. And according to this Colorado uh, statute right here, it can be considered disorderly conduct. So you may want to watch your utterances the next time you enter the DMV because they can refuse you service and they can trespass you according to this Colorado statute right here on trespassing. So, dude, you were totally in the wrong right there. You could have cleaned up your language and they would have serviced you. But seeing as how you wanted to act like a complete moron, well, that ended up happening. So let's listen to this guy whine some more, shall we? Okay, they don't have to like it, but I was willing to make the payment. I even told them, just take the payment and I'll leave. And they said, no, we're not taking your payment. I said, okay. Well, you reason why did you want to because of my shirt and because of my words. 
That's why they said, we're not going to take your payment. And I said, I have a First Amendment. I have the right to say what I got to say. Look, I'm shaking now. Yeah, I get it. I'm sorry. Sorry, everybody. That's okay. So, was it the DMV, so the license plate? Yes. Right yes, sir. On, uh, uh, Chamber? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So, again, I mean, I, I, I don't know what happened. I was just to say that you wanted to talk to me. and I went Sir, to I, I didn't commit a crime. I didn't come in a crime to be trespassed from there. Well, it's certainly clear enough that this idiot has been watching way too many fraudulent videos if he actually believes that little myth right there. Of course you can be trespassed from a property even if you haven't committed a crime yet because a trespass is more of a preventative measure to try to uh, stop a crime from happening at times, even though it may not work all the time, but it's still a preventative measure. Well, you were not trespassed. You were he tr he told me if I don't leave, I will be arrested. Okay, so what happened was that, so who, call, who called us? Who called yeah, the police? Yeah, yeah. The DMV called the police. Okay, and I know you, you were probably upset. Or I was upset. Some words, right? Yeah, well, and I have the right to say words. You, 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 I don't have the right to threaten people. You might, you I never threatened anybody. I said certain, they didn't like it. Okay. I don't give a so you might have maybe maybe they thought maybe you were maybe if, sir if they would have just took my payment I would have I would have been gone I even threw my credit card my wife I didn't even know where my credit card was she's like I got your credit card she had my credit card I I put it down I said here just take my payment I'll leave they shut the hooks down because I said a couple of words and then after that I was pissed so I told them secure yourself you know and I was I, I have the right I bad language is not considered illegal it's it's first amendment language as long as i don't threaten somebody i have the right to say what i have to say okay and that's a public place it's not walmart it's not safeway it's public i pay taxes for that place okay i was just a little bit upset it wasn't even that big of a deal they made a big deal about it and i said okay just take my payment i'll leave no, the big guard came in my face, talking about my kids, talking about, oh, you talk for your kids like that, you're a child abuser, and this and this and that. And even my wife told him, dude, you don't have the right to talk about my kids like that. You don't know. My kids, I teach them about their civil rights. Oh, great. You know your civil rights. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. You think that uh, swearing is a civil right? That's more of another type of right right there, dude. Civil rights are about equal opportunities under the law, you know, so you don't get discriminated against based on your color or anything like that. I mean, learn the difference, you moron. Okay, they might not like it, but it's the rights of Americans. Right. No, I, I, I totally agree with you. But, you know, but you have the right to do that. So you did what, you know, you, you, you used language, you got upset and everything. But you know what? They, they also have the right to, like, not listen to that. Right? They don't have to. They don't Sir, have to they don't have to listen to me. What happened is, you know, you, you know, what happened was that, you know, hey. they came. Yeah. Do you want to talk with us or are you going to record that? Well, I want to record whoever's So, yeah. I know you don't want to listen to this because it's probably going to mess up your live stream, whatever you have going on, but we also had a customer there calling in. It's on our dispatch. Sir, here. the customers. He called in. No, let me tell okay, you. Okay, go ahead. All right. I'll, I'll be I'll be quiet. Okay. We have a customer that called in that said that if we weren't there in a couple of minutes, he was going to take you down himself. Oh, I would have dared him to do it. He, he was willing. Why didn't you go to him and tell him? You can't do that. Because I wasn't an investigating officer. You just told me. That somebody said they were going to threaten to take me down. And based on your behavior, you know they can't do that. They might have been able to. I don't know. They can't do that. You can't touch somebody, bro. Yes, you can. No, you can't unless I'm a threat, if, sir. If he felt unless I'm a threat, can, can you can, touch me? He can, he can if he feels that you were a threat, he can. But you need to. Yes, he could. Again, but but that didn't happen. But I'm just saying. I mean, you. Uh, people you're ridiculous, dude. That's you're you're I'm just saying. ridiculous. You might not like what I'm saying. It doesn't mean it's not true. You can't touch somebody. Yes, you can. It's a no. It's you can't. We were here before uh, Senate Bill two seventeen. Yeah, Senate Bill two seventeen. Go, go you know that. Go ahead and read up on that. But trust me, I know all about it. That allows people to, to go in and, and step in and protect other people. Do you know that it takes away your qualified immunity? Yeah. You know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. You violated my civil rights. Oh wow, you really are a sensitive little snowflake, aren't you? He violated your civil rights because 
he was enforcing a uh, trespassing from uh, the DMV, and he didn't even arrest you? Oh, wow, you are so pathetic. You are so stupid. No, I did, I yes, you did. You threatened me with arrest. Okay, sir, sir. sir. Yes, sir. So, so let, let's go back to the so, so Can I just go back to the DMV or not? Well, you're not trespassed from the DMV. He trespassed me. No, I said if he you said, said if, I, if, I go, if I don't leave, I'll get arrested. But what I'm trying to tell you, you is... If, yeah, I'm not going to get arrested. If you, right. if you go in there with, if, if you go in there and go to disrupt the place, we're going to get called again. I understand. We're, we're the one that, so I'm not there to disrupt I'm anything. I said one couple of words and they got all you pissed were, off. You were asked to leave. There was no paperwork. There was nothing filled out. You usually have to be told. Um, I don't know. Can you go back? I mean, we were told not. Did, did we tell them not to leave? They don't want to press charges after the left. Okay. They didn't want to press charges after they left. So I can go back and tell them that they want their okay There's no charges. Them. It's public property, bro. I didn't commit a crime. I didn't hurt anybody. I didn't do anything wrong. I said a couple of words. They didn't like it. Is that illegal? Well, sir, is, sir, sir, is it illegal if, for saying bitch, fuck this, that, this, and that? Well, if you start, if you start talking, if you start creating an issue, if you start creating it, you know, it could be. I mean, we can ask you to leave. I left, and that's what happened, right? But then you will be trespassing because they want you to leave. Okay, yes, you can say whatever you like. Sir, I mean, is it illegal? If it's going to alert, so if, if, if it's going to be somebody, make somebody uncomfortable, okay? Are you the law? Are you are you a law enforcer or for feelings enforcer? Well, he's got that part about feelings enforcer down from the frauditors. So let me clue you in, uh, moron. Uh, yeah, he's a law enforcement uh, officer, not a feelings enforcer. So he's not going to enforce your feelings. He's going to enforce the law because he knows he can't reverse the trespass because only the uh, administrators of the building that he was trespassed can from can reverse that. And just because you're acting like a butthurt little snowflake doesn't mean that he's going to enforce your feel-feels. But what he can do is uh, send you a shipment of Black Heart Knight's uh, butthurt cream, guaranteed to cure any pain in your ass. Well, satisfaction not guaranteed, but you can try it for free and let me know how it works out for you. Sir, it's public. I'm allowed to be there. I don't care. Are you going to arrest me if I don't leave here now? So I would, I would suggest that you maybe you'll try again tomorrow. That's what I would suggest. You know what? You're not going to help me. I just want to go back and get my feet. That's all I want to do without this arresting me. You know what? Do you live in Aurora? Where do you live? Sir, it doesn't matter where I live. Go to another DMV. I don't want I pay taxes for the DMV. I want to go there. You pay taxes for the other DMV too, which is around. I don't I'm going there. I want to know if you're gonna let me go back. I will not disrespect be disrespectful. I need to know if I'm allowed to go back without being arrested. We cannot tell you that you are allowed to go back there. We can't tell you that. Because it's up to them, and they're the ones that have the, the disruption earlier. It's a earlier. public property. I understand. So is back behind that. that I, you can't go back that. there. Exactly. But, it's, but that's a government property, right? That's you got to be the biggest idiot I've ever met, dude. No, I don't think the cop's the idiot. I think... Uh, you're the idiot for buying into all this BS that you've been getting from all these uh, frauditors on YouTube. I mean, they're leading you down a path. Uh, well, it's going to end up with you probably getting a few arrests here in the future if you continue to act like this. If you haven't had a few arrests already. Which I'm sure if you're going to go down the frauditor path, you most likely already have a criminal record. This is public. The public is allowed to be here, right? Yes or no? Sometimes, yes. Sometimes it's public. Mm -hmm. As long as I'm not hurting this guy or hurting them. No, because the, this office closes. Yeah, well, yeah. 9 PM. Time and matter. So it's, it's so if it's closed, I have to leave. I understand. Do me a favor. Give me a, because I know you're, re you're recording, right? I, I am, and I gave you my phone. Give me a uh, number. I want to get these body cameras. Well, in the back, there's, there's, if, you, if, you, if you hand me his card, I'll, I'll give you the I don't know what I do with it. I'll give them another one. Look, I, I'm sorry, dude. I'm not trying to be a jerk. It's just, I was there to pay my dates. They should have just took my payment. Now my, I have expired plates now because it's on my other truck, but it, it was a little excessive. And I was like, oh, this is it. They got all upset. They were like, oh, you can't talk like that. And this. 
And there, I was like, I'm telling you anyway, why? Well, just take my payment, I'll leave. And here the guy got my face, started talking shit about my kids, and you know, and, yeah, fuck. We give you an incident number. There's a cop. There's a phone number in the back of the car. If I go back there, sir, will I be arrested? That's all I want to know. They call us back, and you create it. You create I'm not going to create. I want to pay for my plates. Dan, I don't think. I don't. I don't. I don't think that the security guard is he going to give me shit? Because if he gives me shit, I'm going to give him shit. If you're peacefully conducting your business, I don't. Think sir, they would call us back. Sir, there was a reason that we were called. Before. Words are not illegal. They can be. No, they're on not. Yeah, they can be. Absolutely. They the spot, if you, if you come, they're not illegal. If you're there, I was outside. Business, I believe that you, you. Where did you see me? Outside, right? After the incident, yes. I don't know what happened. We were outside, yeah. and I told the security guard. No, I didn't investigate anything. You did anything. investigate. That's your problem. No, you see what I'm was, saying, bro? I was called. Remember, I told you they don't even when, investigate. When, when they just three, they do. He's a supervisor. He came in after. You didn't investigate. They didn't investigate either. They just came right up to me and said, "You're out of here." They didn't go and talk. Talk to nobody. You didn't investigate, bro. You just came it. straight to me and said, I "You're done." Because the fe well, the females, they're pretty nice. Mm -hmm. But I told them, "You just threaten yeah, me with arrest, and I'll leave." LG uh, for auditor. That explains why this particular officer didn't investigate. I'm sure there must have been. Other people on the scene that were investigating, other officers that were investigating the situation, actually asking the questions. This man was the supervisor, most likely the one you requested because, well, that's what frauders tend to do. Ask for the supervisor because you uh, frauders tend to believe that the supervisor is always going to be on your side when they rarely ever are, if at all. I wasn't there to investigate. So I just want to know, can I go back? Yes or no? That's all there is to it. I can't tell you. I, you, can, you can try to go back. I mean, I can't tell you that you can't. I don't want to get arrested. I mean, I was. I, I don't want to get arrested, I, but I need plates I, on my I car. I suggested to you that you maybe, you know, you maybe hold off and maybe wait till tomorrow. Well, Jesus Christ, bro, I have a job. I can't just take days off all I, the time. I wait a second. Did you say you have a, a, a job? A frauder that actually has a job? Well, uh, I'm afraid that if your uh, bosses catch wind of this video, you most likely won't have a job anymore because, well, I'm sure it would be a bad representation on their part to have you employed with them if you're going to act like a total dumbass like this on YouTube. So do I. I had to take today off just to go over there. And they didn't like my shirt. I also suggested that, you know, maybe try try a different uh, Arapaho County model. Sir, the one on Arapaho sir, I could go. I should be able to go right here across the street. Well, you should. I pay taxes and for this happen, place. They just didn't want you there anymore, so they asked you to leave. They don't have the right to tell me to leave. Yeah, they are. No, they don't. It's public. I understand. Just because it's a public place. Just because sir, are can you there. tell me to leave here? I'm not going to argue with you. Can you tell me I'm to leave here? To tell you what Unless I commit a crime, I, I don't have to leave here, right? No, you don't. Okay. And I'm not going to ask you to leave. That's a qualifier. Is you have to commit a crime. I have to commit a crime, sir. And and disorderly conduct could be good. Sir, free speech is not disorderly, sir. Interference with the government operation. I didn't interfere with anybody. We were outside. That's what we were investigating. He followed me. I even told him. I said, "Dude, follow me, and I'll leave." He wanted to keep following me. I said, stop following me. The fact that we had other customers willing to intervene because of your behavior might suggest something different. I doubt it, bro. You can doubt it. That's fine. Without, that's your perception. That's, that's, your that's right. the other place of perception. I have to commit a crime. Mm -hmm. oh, what was your name again? I'm sorry. Sanderson. Sanderson. Officer Sanderson. Did, uh, sorry. What are yours? Sergeant? Sergeant. Sergeant. Sergeant Sanderson. I have to commit a crime. Mm -hmm. I didn't commit a crime. They didn't like my words. They kicked me out of that a public place. It's not disorderly. I had the right to say what I had to say. It yeah, yeah. could be construed by disorderly conduct, yes. It could be. But it was it. It could be if, the, if people were willing to press charges. Sure. And even if statutorily it met the requirement of, of uh, disorderly conduct or interfering with the government operations, if they don't want to pursue charges, then ultimately we won't arrest. Look, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'll admit I'm, I was wrong. Okay. I just don't think I was wrong. Okay. I even told him, just take my payment and I'll leave. 
they shut the place down. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. Is like if, I didn't interfere with people. I didn't get in front of people. And say, hey, I would like to pay for my plates. Can I please pay for my plates? I'm sure they I said that. Can I business with you? Dude, you worked there. No. I'm no, telling no. you right now. I even said, look. All, all, all I even said. I even said. I'm not worried about I even said. To, I even said. To, since you took today off. I apologize. I even said, I apologize. Can you just take my payment? I'm trying to get you to not waste your time. So if you go Dude, over there, I'm going to tell you something. I've never recorded the police until you violated my rights today. Well, I didn't I've never done this. So. I'm going to I'm going to okay. start a channel so, just because of you. Okay. Well, for auditor, welcome to the community of butt hurt morons. That is the frauditor community. I mean, you couldn't have found a nicer group of assholes to become a part of because, well, every single one of them is butt hurt because the police wouldn't let them do their own thing and commit the crimes that they wanted to commit, and they wouldn't lick their boots. I mean, that's the biggest issue of all, that the frauditors didn't get their boots licked by the uh, cops. I mean, that's what they really want. They want the cops to kneel down and uh, lick their boots. Which is why they're probably so obsessed with bootlickers to begin with, because they fantasize about everybody in the world licking their boots, but they can never achieve that little fantasy. So what I would suggest is that you go and say, hey, what happened before is over. I want to, I want to pay for my place. Dude, that security guard talked shit about my kids. Okay, he talked fine. shit about my wife. He you. talked all kinds of shit. He he was okay. very you don't, out of ordinary. You don't need to speak to him when you go back, though. You need to speak to the clerk, right? He's one guy to my face. Yeah, and you don't I even told him, dude, you got no authority. Then, it, then if he's coming in and harassing you, give us a call. We'll come talk with him. I don't call you like, guys. You guys too. take his side over mine. Why? I've, I've arrested dude, you kicked me off of private, public property. No, I didn't. You threw me with arrest, bro. No, I advise you that you could be arrested. Okay, so I left, right? Yeah. It's public so property. Arrested. Public. Right. Are you under arrest now? I don't know. You guys what seem you like you want to arrest me right I now. I've been arrested since I met you. Are you guys going to arrest me right now? No, I'm not arrest you. Why would we? All, all I want to know is I want to be able to go back. That's all I want. Mm -hmm. I I believe maybe I'm wrong. I believe he violated my rights. Maybe I'm wrong. Were you arrested because of your color? Were you arrested because you were uh, trying to vote? Were you arrested because you wanted to engage in public education? Were you denied a job because of your skin color, religion, or anything like that? No? Well, your rights, your civil rights, were not violated, you moron. Well, you kicked me off public property public that we pay for it's not private he threatened me with arrest okay no, i advise you that you could be arrested if you didn't leave and you what if arrest. i what if i stayed then that would be a different situation sir either i was going to be arrested or not yes or no it was, it was all up to your your choice sir if i would have stayed would i have been arrested if, yes or no if you refuse he want to answer leave, he won't answer. If you refuse to leave after you are advised by the, by the authorities. They don't have the right to tell me to leave unless I committed a crime. No, they don't. So if you refuse it's to public leave, property. It's not notice. Walmart, yes. dude. You're, you're trespassing. No. Arrestable. No. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Okay. okay. All right. Well, we're going to leave it at that. So I just want to be able to go back. Again, can uh, I go you back? I my information. I appreciate I'm it. I'm going to tell you you can go back. I told you that you, you could try to go over there. And just, so uh, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to go back. Next Monday, okay. if I get arrested, I'm going to file a civil lawsuit under Section 18, 242, whatever it is. Okay. Um, if I get arrested, it's, it's public property. Okay. It's not Walmart. It doesn't mean it's a cr uh, crime or a legal... Uh, God, this guy's an idiot. No. Just because it's private property doesn't mean that you can't commit a crime. Or I have to commit a crime to be... A right. Trespass from uh, public and property. And if you commit a crime and so, you're, you're arrested... So, so you say you're going to try to go next week? I need to get these plates. Okay. All right. So I would suggest, okay, so, you know, that, that's a great idea. I would suggest, you know, maybe look at disorderly conduct under the, under the municipal statute. Sir, statutes. as long as I'm not committing a crime. Statute. Just look at this. That is a crime in itself. Be just standing read, there. Just read it. This is disorderly? Well, no. Is this disorderly, no, sir? that is not. But My shirt is disorderly. When your voices were no. disrupting and having people call the police, 
absolutely could be could be considered that you can solve the contract. All right, well, we'll see. I guess okay. if I get arrested, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Look that up and just know about it. Yeah, I'll right. look it up. He said, "Oh shit, you're, he was right, or he was wrong." Or, yeah, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Also, I'm just giving you some reasons. If I'm wrong, right? That's all I'll look at it. I just know free speech is free speech. If you're going to be looking things up, I'd also look up 18-8-102. 18-8-102? 18-8-102. And it's on your video, so you can look at it. Just remember, Senate Bill 217. Oh, I know. Yeah, it's going to be up your ass. Yeah, I bet it will. Yeah. You're dismissed. Balance, bitch. Go away. All right. Yes, sir. Thank you for your help. What's your name? I'm not giving you my name. Do you want to? Oh, okay. I'm not giving you my name. Okay. I mean, you want to know my name. I just want to You work for the public, bro. I do. You work for the city uh, of Aurora. Right. Hey, right on. I do right. appreciate you. I know bro. you're upset, and I know how the, I I am. the feeling. I am. I just He's want a to under, that you understand that we tried. All right. Have a good day. Okay? Go away. Go. Well, for the next few minutes, he finds other people to antagonize before the video ends. And if he acted like this at the uh, DMV, is it any wonder why he got ejected and removed and everything like that? I mean, I must have removed 50 instances of swearing in his video just to make it where it can be monetized. I mean, it was freaking insane. And that's not to mention all the frauded or BS that he was spouting out about trespassing, disorderly conduct, and everything like that. I mean, the guy is great at the... Parroting the lines of frauditors, but he's not that great at actually doing his research and finding out what the truth is. And that's the downfall of frauditors right there. They don't know how to tell the truth to their audiences, and they end up polluting the minds of other people, enabling them to become just like them, to become complete and total morons. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?